another movie that my boss gave me to watch um, is this movie that's it's, it's kind of strange um, and it's really cool and I was really excited to watch it and the more I watched it the more I liked it but I still don't think it's quite perfect there's definitely a lot of issues with it but I'm excited to talk about it so today we're talking about Green Room Green Room was directed uh, by Jeremy Saulnier, and it was also written by him, uh, and it came out in 2015. Uh, and this movie is strange. I'm going to try to explain it without spoilers, but the general idea is this band goes to this gig. This gig is in a place that is run by drug dealers, basically, uh, but they're kind of like really weird drug dealers. They're kind of like really nice about it. <laughs> it's really strange, but also really brutal. It's really freaking strange. Uh, and the leader of this drug ring is Patrick Stewart. I would have never thought this would have worked, and it worked brilliantly. He's the best part of this film, easily. Um, so they go there, and then at the end of the show, uh, they are stuck in this room because the other people won't let them out. And it should be noted, I think it is important, that these people are represented by Republicans. Uh, very, very, very strict Republicans. Um, like QAnon people, basically. Um, and they're stuck in this room now um, with the Republicans on the outside trying to keep them in. And it's up to the people in the room to try to find a way out. Uh, to the world again. That's basically the story. Uh, it's a little different than that, but like that's how I feel I should explain it to somebody who has never heard it before. Um, so th I like this movie a lot. I think it's really cool. Um, I'm going to spend most of the time talking about things I didn't like about it just because it's going to be easier for me to talk about. Um, but I do want to start with a few things I really liked, which first, Patrick Stewart is a god in this movie as Darcy. He's brilliant. He's terrifying. He's awesome. I mean, those are just, I. he's so good. I want more Patrick Stewart. I need to watch more of his stuff, and I will watch more of his stuff. I am doing, going through the X-Men movies soon. Um, and I just, I really like a lot of, a lot of his performance in this is really, really solid. Because he plays it slow. He, he, he has a lot of racial slurs, for one. But he's a Republican, but he's like one of those ones that like are really good at portraying that they're not like awful people um, until you like actually notice that they're awful people. So like, you're like, oh, hey, it's Patrick Stewart. Cool, he's probably gonna save the day. And then he's like, I'm gonna kill everyone. And you're like, whoa, 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 calm down, Patrick, whoa. Um, and I really liked that a lot. I thought it was really solid. Uh, I think uh, I liked Anton Yelchin a whole lot as Pat. He's like kind of the main character. I liked him a lot as an actor and apparently he has passed away in 2016 and I'm really sad to hear that because I wanted to see more from him. Um, I think he's really, really brilliant in this movie. I think he's really, really cool. Really, really good. Um, the performances really make this movie and the story is really cool too. Uh, and the blood is really cool. There's this one scene, uh, it's towards the beginning of the film, so I feel like I can talk about it. But they're, like, they're trying to get out of the door and they slam the door on, on, on Yelchin's arm and it like basically snaps his entire wrist off and it flops around um, and it's really gory and bloody. So don't watch this movie if you're scared of blood because uh, there's quite a bit of it. Uh, but really that's like the main scene with his blood. Beyond that, there really is a whole lot, which I was kind of hoping for more. Like, the hand scene's really, really cool, but beyond that, there wasn't a whole lot of blood and gore. I really did think that there was going to be more uh, in terms of blood and gore. Um, but the main reason I, like, there, there, like, the main issue I have with the film is that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, uh, which, I was just talking to my boss about this, and he brings up a good point, which is the idea that they only know how to get out of the room based on the movies that they have seen. And that makes sense, but also, in a real-life situation, I feel like they would understand that there are other ways to go about getting out of this room. Like... <laughs> Yeah, they can't quite get into the pipes, but they can probably crawl across the crawl space and get to a different room, or they can, I don't know, there's this one scene towards the end that I will talk about, this maybe slight spoilers, but they're shooting, this guy is in the middle of this room, and he's got a gun, he's got three bullets, and so then the two, two people are on opposite sides of the room, saying how many bullets are left and distracting the guy to shoot them so that they have less bullets, essentially. But the guy's holding a, like, all right, Anton Yelchin is holding a machete. He's holding a machete, and like whenever he's turned around, it, I feel like it's so easy to just run up on him and get him. Like it's that simple. Um, I don't know why they decided to not do that. It was really upsetting me the whole time. I'm sitting here, I'm like, just use the machete that's in your hand. He never uses it. I'm like, come on, like please. Um, another issue is that that guy had his arm basically severed, and he's using it a lot. And if you watch the movie, you'll see there's no way that hand could move. There's no way that that's still connected by all those nerves. Not a chance. Um, I would be very surprised. So I found that really annoying and bothersome. Um, but also, I feel like the movie does last a little bit longer than it should. Um, and the ending is really cool. I like the ending a lot of A24 a is really good at starting and ending movies. Um, but I feel like the middle part's the issue in every A24 film so far. It just sags and there's just this weird, like, empty space that they fill with random stuff that, in my opinion, just doesn't quite work. 
Um, and like some of it did, like this one I think did a really good job at keeping you at least invested a little bit more than a, a couple of the other ones, but it just wasn't as interesting to me as most of the other films that I've seen from A24. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Green Room a B plus. Have you guys seen Green Room? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about it. Um, I still like this movie a lot and I do want to own it on Blu-ray at some point because uh, it is entertaining and it is wildly like cool and I like, like the blood and, and Patrick Stewart is like super good again. Um, but it just doesn't quite do it for me as somebody who like I've kind of grown up on slasher films and all that kind of stuff and now I don't really like them a whole lot because I grew up on them and there's nothing original out. And while I think this movie does succeed in originality, it does take down the tone of a slasher film and that's kind of what I wanted from this film. So unfortunately, um, definitely not my favorite A24 film so far. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, please consider showing up on the 31st of December of 2021 um, from 1 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be doing a live stream that you're not going to miss. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. We're doing eight hours straight. Um, I'm going to be air frying random stuff. I'm going to be playing video games, talking about Blu-rays, talking about next year. It's going to be crazy. Please consider showing up. It's going to be a whole, whole lot of fun. I'm really, really excited. So please consider doing that. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,